do have a hard road here because 70% of Americans say they thought the conduct was wrong, but about half of them think impeachment and removal is, is warranted here. So they're kind of more on where Rich Lowry stands on this. Hey everyone, hey, I got an idea. Let's punish ourselves by listening to the hate-filled ravings of a bunch of uninformed socialist harpies. Why is it that support for impeachment is going down for Americans and Trump's approval ratings, I can't even say it makes me nauseous, are going up? Is it really a surprise that you don't know what's going on? You live in a leftist bubble that's been calling for Trump's impeachment since he took office in 2017. Breaking news. A bombshell. Today is a turning point. Today was historically bad for President Trump. Today was a turning point. A turning point. We're at a turning point here. The beginning of the end for the Trump presidency. We have another bombshell. Mike Pence might have to assume the office of the presidency. Rumblings of the word impeachment. Breaking news. Another bombshell out of the White House. I believe this is the beginning of the end. I do too. It's really the beginning of the end. He may be feeling the walls closing in on him. All the walls closing in on him. The walls closing in on him. Breaking news, a new bombshell. One astrologer says this means the beginning of the end for President Donald Trump. Trump will resign. Trump is going to resign. Is this the tipping point? I know we've said it over and over. You think this is a tipping point? And over and over. This is a tipping point. And over and over. Every single time you all claim that Trump's just about to be impeached, you fall flat on your faces. The average person can see that the DNC and the media are united in trying to undo the 2016 election. And this latest attempt to impeach is yet another swing and a miss. Honestly, I'm to the point where I don't even care if Trump hinged aid on investigations into Burisma. Simply because the media and the Democrats seem Seem pretty certain that it wouldn't go well for Joe Biden. Speaking of that, is it just me or does it seem like these people don't think that the American people have a right to know about Democrat corruption? They reacted the exact same way when WikiLeaks exposed DNC corruption and collusion with the media. What is it that they like about him? Is it the fact that there are still, what, 4,000 kids still at the border in custody? Then of course Behar hypocritically throws out this stat that we supposedly still have 4,000 kids in custody custody being processed. For one, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because we've covered it to death, but this exact same problem existed under Obama. She loves Obama, so clearly she's just a partisan hack. Second, wasn't it just a couple days ago that the media scrubbed a story saying that there were 100,000 kids in detention when they found out that the stats actually came from the Obama administration? Funny how that keeps happening. I'm sure it's just a harmless coincidence. Is it the fact that there are still, what, 4,000 kids still at the border in custody? Speaking of those stats, I actually tracked them down to a PBS Frontline article that was done in a partnership with the Associated Press. The article claims that there's currently a record number of migrant kids in custody, 70,000. The problem is, we know that there was more in custody under Obama thanks to that scrub story I was just talking about. Also in the story, they claim that these kids are separated from their families, which I don't think is correct because if you actually look at this graph, it shows that around 70,000 kids are unaccompanied and in custody in 2019. I actually reached out to the three journalists who put this article together, but as of making this video, they haven't responded. They're still trying to cover up the fact that this all went on under their man god. Democrats have played their cards completely wrong here. From the beginning, I mean, we've been talking about impeachment since he came into office, right? I think people, I talk to people all the time, they say, let me know when it's serious enough, when something's actually going to happen. Exactly. Like I pointed out earlier, this impeachment nonsense has been going on since he was inaugurated. There were even protests at his inauguration, which, by the way, also happened at George W. Bush's inaugurations. The left thinks that losing an election is a reason to protest. They have a great brainwash. And if you impeach him, just for like he did with Mueller, brainwashed Americans into thinking he didn't commit a crime. But and if, if you watch confident. these impeachment hearings, the Republicans crime, muddy it up, why distract. Not, why not just vote him out in November? If and Democrats are that confident because impeachment that he's is bad, provided out for in the Constitution. Yeah, man. I mean, it's not like they should have to win an election. That's like white supremacy. There's zero evidence of bribery and there's zero evidence that any laws were broken. What in the world are these women so upset about? 
Is it that they care so much about Ukraine? No, I doubt it because none of these women gave a damn when the Obama administration refused to arm Ukraine and did nothing when Russia invaded. It was Trump that ended up arming Ukraine with Javelin missiles, which are a game-changing weapon. None of these women gave a damn that Hillary Clinton destroyed all of her devices and hard drives in order to obstruct an investigation and then got away with it. That's the problem here, as always. We can't have principles because the left just uses them against us and then plays by their own rules. Now that the other side is playing their own game against them, suddenly they have a problem with it. That's the paradox of the increasing division that we have in this country, and I fear it will only get worse. That's all I have for you today. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you want to support this channel, you can find all the links in the description and the pinned comment. Thank you.